this video is for all my fellow Harry Potter fans out there. I've never really got off the Harry Potter train. I've loved Harry Potter since the books first came out um, and I've recently just been giving the books a reread and I was thinking about the houses and I was just thinking that if I was going to be in a house I think I would be a Ravenclaw. Um, I was reading through the qualities of all the different houses and the Ravenclaw one said um, Wisdom, intelligence, originality, creativity and wit. And I was reading through all the others and I was thinking that one actually sounds most like me. Um, and it, I was looking at the colours, blue and bronze, and I was thinking that would make a really cool makeup look. So what I'm going to do today is a Ravenclaw inspired makeup look. Um, to see more things like this, hit the subscribe button. But yeah, we're going to go for it now. I've already got on my eye primer and a foundation base of the RCMA to create quite a natural finish. So I'm going to go ahead now. So I'm going to start with my eyes. So the colours for Ravenclaw are blue and bronze and I'm going to go quite shimmery with this. I'm going to be using this palette today. It's the Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette. It came out this Christmas and it's all really shimmery foil shades. So I'm going to use this bronzy colour base in my crease. I recently downloaded the Harry Potter audiobooks on Audible um, and I've been listening to them while I've been going to sleep because the problem with aud new audiobooks sometimes is that when I fall asleep I fall asleep through the middle and then I end up listening to a part near the end if I wake up in the middle of the night um, so it can kind of ruin the story sometimes if I listen to new books while I'm asleep it's better to listen to them when I wake but with the Harry Potter books I've read them so many times that I can literally listen to any part and know what's going on so even if I wake up in the middle of the night and it's like in the middle, I know what's going on so it's not a problem. I'm taking it quite out, quite far out to the side because I'm going to do quite um, a wing look with the shadow as well as the liner. So I'm taking it further out than I normally would sort of this way out. And I'm not worrying too much about blending just yet. I'm just popping the shadow on at the moment. Just getting it where I want it and then I will blend it all together at the end. So I'm going to pop this bright blue colour. Oh, just drop the palette please be in one piece. Ah, uh, it survived. Um, I'm going to pop this bright blue colour dive on my lid. So that's how it looks at the moment. I'm going to pop some more of that bronze base on my lower lash line. And sort of make sure it lines up with the line that that wing's going on. I've got this MUA highlighter in the shade Ice Sparkle. It's kind of a bluey highlighter. Um, I'm just going to pop this in my inner corner. and along my brow bone. So now, I'm gonna pull you in a little bit closer. I'm gonna take this blue liner, um, it's a Makeup Forever Aqua Liner, and I'm gonna create a line just sort of above my crease. I'm gonna try and keep it smooth going along. There we go. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Then I'm going to do a normal line of liner just on my lash line. Yeah. 
and create a wing just there. I'm just going to add some mascara now. So that's my eyes. I'm going to pop a little bit of bronzer on the face. So I'm going to be using the Hoola Light because that's a better shade for me. I'm just going to pop it on along my cheeks. And I'm going to pop the tiniest bit of the bronze shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. So it's just that shade there, bronzed, on top of that just to make that really pop and glow bronze and then I'm just gonna blend that in a little bit more Ooh. and I'm gonna take that MUA highlighter that I used earlier in the corner I'm gonna pop a bit of highlight on my cheekbones with this I'm gonna pop quite a bit on because I want it to be quite dramatically and popping blue because I really like it and I think it's perfect for this look and finally I'm going to add lipstick in the shade Heroin by Urban Decay There you go guys, that is my Ravenclaw inspired makeup look. I really enjoyed doing this today, I thought it was super fun. Let me know if you'd like me to do any of the other Hogwarts houses or if there's any other characters you'd like me to do a makeup look inspired by. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did give me a thumbs up and subscribe, let me know what Hogwarts house you think you are in the comments and why, I'd love to hear about it and thank you for watching, bye bye!